please stick with me through this entire video here today. I don't want you to go off skipping along or anything. We'll have timestamps down there in case you want to come back and check them out. But please just hear me out and catch my vibe throughout this video. We're going to be talking about the four absolute best gaming headsets here. And I say absolute best. These are gaming headsets I will put my name all over and recommend to everybody. Anybody in my family or anything, they are that good. They're headsets that really give you a game-changing experience. Almost make you want to go off and replay so many different games. You know, it's like a remastered game. You know, you all know I absolutely love gaming audio. Gaming headsets are my passion. I cover many products, but gaming headsets, my inner nerd just bleeds out. That is my passion. And I truly believe there's two main categories within our gaming experience that are going to really change it, make it game changing. Number one, being your visuals. Number two, being audio. Well, you can flip them around if you want, but I think you got to see your game first, you know what I mean? But seriously, your visuals and your audio, way before your keyboard, your mouse, your desk, your mouse pad, or anything like that is visuals and audio. And again, these four gaming headsets we're talking about here are just game changing. They really are. Now also sound is subjective. I'm not going to put these in any order. Not saying this one's better than this or this is better than that. I will let you know which one I am maining and why I main it, you know. But again, sound is subjective. You may like a completely different sound than me. You want more bass, more highs, more this, more that, whatever, you know. So again, that's why I want you to stick with me here. Catch my vibe because you may be like, yo, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Or you may be like, man, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So again, Sit back and please stick with me through this video. And by the way, if I don't cover something about one of these headsets in this video here, I did do standalone detailed reviews of every single headset we're talking about. So go check those out if you want. Right now, we're gonna be going over the core basics talking about these headsets. But again, if you want a deeper dive, go check out the standalone video. Now kicking it off with our first headset here is the SteelSeries Arctic's Nova Pro, the wired version. As fun and great and feature packed as the wireless ones are, even in my video, I stated the wired ones are the way to go here. Now, number one, talking about comfort, as you see, you have that full swivel. They spin all the way out. You still have that nice headband, but you do have traditional adjustments on this headset now. Now, these ear cushions here are incredibly plush. As you see, very plush, fully pleather. So it is going to lock in some of that heat. Your ears are going to get spicy. Now, these ear pads are incredibly easy to change. Bam, you can just peel them right off and slap some new ones on it. Get your wicked cushions. The old wicked Wicked cushions for SteelSeries headsets will work on these as well. And again, they have that gel inside, so it'll lock in that sound as well, because I believe these fully pleather or leatherette cushions here are playing into the sound a bit. But again, out the gate, as far as comfort, like, even though my ears get spicy, and they instantly get spicy in these guys, they really do. My gosh, like SteelSeries just nails the comfort. They are phenomenal on the head. They really are the build I really don't get worried about. I mean, only time will tell. But, but across comfort and build, hands down, complete win here. But let's talk about the sound. This is where this headset really comes to life. And I, and I say go with the wired over the wireless here. Number one, you have your uh, amp DAC over here, which you can dab with EQ and all your sounds right there. On PC, you do get high res with this headset. On console, you don't, but it's really not this like game changing, like deal breaker, like, oh, it's so good over here and horrible over here. It's not that. You still have an absolute awesome experience on the console. I was playing a lot of Uncharted, the remastered one, and it's just like, man, it was so fun because SteelSeries is focused on the highs. Still, even with the Novas compared to the old ones, Steel Series has always been on the highs. You got that really crisp, natural, environmental, detailed sound. It's awesome. It really is. But the old Arthas Pros, you never really had much back end bass. These guys, the back end bass is there. And it's cool because that back end bass performs when it needs to, right? So you got this crisp scene going on. Grenade goes off, bam, and it goes off. And the headset almost shakes on you. Like, you feel it vibrate there, you know? It is so fun, but it's a clean bass. It's a clean hit. It does what it does, and then it's done. It's not distorting all the other sounds. It's not staticky or anything like that. Again, that goes into that place of the experience. It's not just this great sounding headset. You have that experience. Again, talking about that back end bass is coming up on you. You're playing a competitive game. It's not constant bass. Right, you're playing Battlefield. The wind doesn't sound like bass. You got that detail, but then when an exciting scene happens right there, that bass truly hits. And again, you can dive in here and dab with your EQs a little bit right there, dial it into your preferred sound. But all in all, 
you, you, you get, again, that exciting, fun experience with this headset. Now, you can dive further deeper into the software. I forget what the software is called. People said, oh, you're not really utilizing this headset if you don't really use it. Again, you're going to notice with all these headsets we're talking about here, I don't talk about sound morphing profiles or anything like that, like maybe a basic EQ, but no Dolby Atmos, no 7.1, no mumbo jumbo like that. And that new Steel Series software that they're offering, man, I forget the name of it. I just don't use it. I, I don't think that's a selling point. And I don't want you to focus on that with this headset. Focus on the core, what you have, how it's gonna perform, and that's what you're gonna get. By the way, that other software, whatever it's called, you can't use it on a console. So it's not fair. Like we got an Xbox console set, headset here, which yeah, you can use across everything, but their software, Man, I forget the name of it. I can't think of it because it's not the engine. It's something else. I don't know. I just don't use it, so I don't remember. Anyways, that can only be used on PC. It does not save to the station. So again, it's not really fair. Why advertise it as that when you can't utilize it across the board? But that core sounds you're getting here, guys, whew, it is awesome. I, I really like what we're getting here. And this headset comes in at 250 bucks. And I honestly think what is packing from the build, the comfort, the features with the uh, station and all that, I think it justifies it. I really do. Again, of course, being able to use it across every platform. But at 250 bucks, guys, this, this is a great headset, a great experience, and one that I highly recommend. And the next headset on our list is the Odyssey Penrose. Can the Techni do a top headset list without the Odyssey Penrose? No, I can't. This headset is amazing. Now, yes, you're seeing mine here, severely modded, wicked cushions. I got a headband on it and everything. So is it fair saying like, oh, hey, I had to mod this so much and I'm still gonna put it on this list. You know, it's it's almost not, I, I agree, it's almost not. The comfort out of the box is okay. I mean, that's where I'd leave it. I'd leave it as okay. I'd definitely recommend you doing the mods. And once you mod them up, guys, it's like, whew, it is so, so comfortable with these wicked cushions. Go check out my mod video if you want. You may not need the headband. Me with my bald head right here, I don't like headsets really just kind of pressing down on my head. So I put that up there. If you got a plush head of hair, you probably won't need that. But again, the cushions are game changing on this. Now, before we get into sound, there's a couple other faults with this headset. The range is horrible. So if you get up out of your room and stuff like that, the range is horrible. I figure you're gonna be on your couch or at your PC desk right there, and that's where you're gonna be set. You walk out of that room, it's gonna start breaking up on you. Now, some people complain about the build. I don't know. I think the build is solid. It is a heavier headset with the planar magnetic drivers and everything, so I mean, don't, don't, don't throw your stuff across the room, don't drop it and you're good to go. I know accidents happen, you know, but again, me using these for almost a year now, they're, they're incredibly solid for me here. Uh, one other pointer here, some people have experienced hissing in the headset or a little bit of static. What that is, is you go into the software, disable the side tone, the microphone side tone, and that goes away right there. At least that was for me. Make sure you update the firmware, disable the side tone, and that'll go away. So as you're catching, there are some faults with this headset. There really are, but the pros outweigh those faults by a long shot, hence the reason it's on my list and it's been on many of my list, that being the sound. Wow, I've tried to explain this so much in my videos. I've had people come back in the comment section and say, yo, Techni, I see exactly what you're talking about here now, you know? The sound of these are just, they're doing everything right. And I mean everything, right? I think a lot of people that get these, it's, you gotta put them on, you play your game and you're like, holy smokes. I can talk about it here, crispy highs, crispy bass, not rumbly bass, you know, it's just, it's crispy and it's there. And it's just, you got that detail, you got the immersion, it's full, it's just in your face sound. It's so hard to explain, cause you might be thinking of just explaining a regular headset there, but it is just something special about this and this goes with a lot of odyssey headphones i use i got the lcd twos in there that I use a lot you know what i mean their planar magnetic drivers are phenomenal but this has a gaming headset i mean you got bluetooth and all that stuff on it you, you got a lot of features packed into this and the sound you're getting at this with this headset coming in around 300 bucks is it's something special guys and if you haven't tried them I know it's not a big brand. We don't got Steel Series. We don't got Razer. We don't got Logitech here. You know, so so it's a little bit different for us. But man, this is across console, across PC. And by the way, I'm not using the software at all. No EQ. Out of the box sound is what I'm talking about here. 
out of the box, amazing for story, amazing for competitive, any kind of competitive, Rainbow Six, Call of Duty, Halo, right? You hear me on a lot of my videos say, oh, it's only good for this kind of competitive, maybe not that. This does everything right across every game. So again, at 300 bucks, it gets an easy recommendation from me. Buy yourself the pads. You may not need the headband, and you're going to be good to go. This is something you have to try. I've tried explaining it so much before in my videos. Again, I don't know if I've done a good job at that or whatnot, you know? But once you put these on, I really feel like you'll be back, and you'll be like, now I see what you're talking about. But again, take those faults into play. Realize that they're there. Understand what you're really buying, and then you, you can, uh, you know break it up like that. But me personally, even with the faults, I absolutely love the Odyssey Penrose. Next up, the VZR Model 1 headset here. Did any of you just watch this recent video? Go check out that one if you want. It's it's something. There's a lot packed into this that I'm not going to be able to cover here. But number one, starting with that comfort and build, all this silver that you're seeing on this headset is metal. It is metal. Carbon fiber, real carbon fiber, which plays into the sound. Again, I go more into that into the video. It is just, and when you put it on your head, it's like, I mean, it's so comfortable. Ear pads fully pleather for sure, so they do lock in a little bit of that heat right there, but they just sit on your head, even though it's a bigger, bulkier headset. Yo, so stinking comfortable. Take a look at these ear pads, guys. Whew. Super plush right there. Wow, super stinking plush. Now you have this right here. What is that thing called? I forget what the I forget what they call that there. Again, go watch in the video. But these little holes in the driver that's over the driver here play into the sound profile of this headset and the experience you're gonna get talking about the sound. But no joke, as far as comfort and build, I mean this is top stinking notch. Like this might be the best built gaming headset I've ever had in my hands. It's just you get the quality. For the price tag, which we'll talk about, the quality and comfort is, again, top notch. So your money's worth in that regard. But where this headset truly comes to life, and I feel like I'm doing it a disservice saying that because the build and comfort is so good, right? But it's with the sound. And by the way, that plastic I just looked it up is called the cross weave, cross wave little thing right there. And what that does, it allows the sound to not really just be thrown at you, kind of breaks it apart right there. And they, they show where the different frequencies come out because the holes are bigger, the holes are smaller right there. And where I really noticed this is when I was using this and then put on a regular pair of headphones or gaming headset, and I felt it just kind of be thrown at me and those sounds kind of bounce off your bone and you just feel that driver almost pushing at you this really breaking it up is it really like a 7.1 sound or something like that nah i wouldn't say it's doing anything like that it's again putting the sounds where it should be but not overdone if that if that makes sense right there you might be thinking like open back pair of headphones type of thing like that and, and i would I, I would give that a little bit right because everything's not just jumbled at you you're getting a little bit here and a little bit there the sound, this headset is definitely drawn towards the bass. There's more bass on this headset, hands down. So, playing a story game with this, holy smokes, it is awesome. It is phenomenal. It is fun and exciting, right? You're getting that detail. You're getting that clarity. Nothing's overdone, right? Nothing's just thrown at you. And you really notice that when you start playing multiple story games and stuff. It's it's truly exciting where it almost pulls you into the game you know again it made you want to keep on playing feel like it's remastered but yes just to be clear this is geared towards base complete opposite of the steel series we recently talked about right there right you put it on and there's more base right there so i would gear this definitely i, I want to say more towards story game, but even playing competitive, me playing Halo, which that one is geared more towards bass in the footsteps, right? And, and it worked out great. It worked out phenomenal, you know? But I would class this as really immersive, fun, uh, story game driven. But it does work for competitive as well. Again, even though that bass is there, it's not this rumbly, muddy bass. You still have detail, separation, and clarity and stuff like that. But it's just, if we've got to use an audiophile term, it's all around constantly warmer, if that makes sense. And yeah, the headset is a little bit pricey. I think it's the most expensive out of this list right here, a little bit above Odyssey, coming in at 350 bucks. And I know that's expensive. I know y'all just want to go, oh, yo, that's a little heavy for a gaming headset. 
You can't look at this like a gaming headset. Like I stated in my last video, what makes a gaming headset? Well, it's the microphone. Take it off and you got a set of audiophile headphones. I look at this like I, I talk about mice, right? I tell everybody, always have two mice on your desk. You got that small one for flicking and dipping, faster play. You got that bigger plump one for maybe work or a story game. Same thing right here. I, I tell people, and me myself, I have like, I usually keep around three to four headsets out just to flop around for games. Cause again, I don't like using software. I like that core experience you got. And, and this one, like, I always wanna go back to it, especially when I'm playing a story game. And again, some competitive here and there, you know, it does so much right. And at that price tag, which is heavy, it's doing so, so much right. It really is, trust me. At 350 bucks, which is heavy, you get these in your hand, you're gonna be like, all right, I got my money's well worth right here. And now for our last headset is the Epos H6 Pro. And yeah, this is the one I've been maining. This is my favorite gaming headset right now. And this is crazy. Talking about sound being subjective, people's sound preference change, which I feel like mine has, because when I review this, I said, well, it feels a little bit maybe too warm or a little bit too bassy for me. But lately, I, I play a lot more story games right now, and I play a lot of Halo. It's pretty much story games and Halo. Some of my story games, again, Uncharted. I was playing Forbidden Horizon West. And then again, I play some uh, Cyberpunk and Borderlands on PC. So again, it's, you know, as far as competitive, it's really just Halo right now, you know, as far as true competitive. And this headset just does so much right it really does starting with the style i love the style of this guys i really do now you see i don't have the mic in right here you can just bam pop it off and if you want to use the mic it just attaches right there magnetizes flip down to active flip up to mute i use a standalone mic so i don't keep it on and it just looks sleek got a green one in a black one which is actually blue uh, but other than style the comfort now you don't have full swivel but you have enough which is a bit of a stinker i wish we had full but again you got those cool arms over there the adjustment is right up here hold this position really nice these ear pads guys like just look at them you got like that felt up there inside it's cloth perforated lets it kind of breathable plenty deep and everything and plenty plush but they still lock the sound and they lock them in very nicely and as far as the build i mean Again, you got a premium product. That's what it feels like. When you get this in your hand, it feels premium. Now, with this joint right here, it's a, I, I don't know. Only time can tell you. I've been using the heck out of them and no issues. But again, we got some different joints right there. But talking about putting it on your head, guys, it's, uh, by the way, it's it really big. As you see, I got to make it smaller on me as well. It's just perfect. It really is. It's a medium clamping force, so it's not going to fall off on you. It's also going to clamp on there to get those drivers into your ears right there where everything's held on right there. Stinking cozy hands down. Premium feel, premium build, premium style. Right there, total win. But most importantly, the sound. All right, the sound of these guys. Talking about, again, the story games I played, the competitive games I play, the sound of these guys do everything that I personally want. Crispy highs, crispy bass, nice subtle mids, if that makes sense. The bass isn't rumping, thumping, pumping, rumbling or anything like that, but it is there. You get it. You get that immersion, that spanker's going off, you're gonna get it, bam, and that's that, right? You still got that immersion of the detail, just the environment around you, it's fantastic. Again, across story games, competitive games, or anything. As I stated, I keep multiple headsets out, but I catch myself going to this one a lot because, well, simply I don't have to change them out a lot. You know what I mean? It sounds lazy. Like they're right there, just plug it in. Uh, again, if I'm swapping my games out, you know, testing a keyboard or a mouse, I can keep these on and it's doing it across the board on all of them. The great thing about it is this 3.5. So this is every single console, your mobile device, if you got a 3.5 port or anything like that, you know, your Mac, your PC, your PS5, PS4, Xbox is going to work and punch out that sound across all of them. And again, if you're looking for, I, I truly think if you're looking for that one and done where it's not too potent in the highs. It's not too warm and too bassy down in the lows. You want that thing right here that's gonna be good for a racing game, good for a story game, good for a competitive game. That's why I love the H6 Pros. 
I really do. I, I like that one and done deal. And I feel like these guys are really doing it across the board. Now in my stay alone review video, again, I stated they were a little bit too warm. I was playing a lot of Call of Duty then and I wanted a lot more highs, hence my love for Steel Series, right? But again, with my games changing a little bit different, this is where I'm at. The other thing I was disappointed about in my review, the standalone about these, is the price. They come in at 180, which is steep for what you're getting. It really is. You're, I mean, it's an awesome headset. There's no doubting it. But you're close to 200 bucks for a wired headset with, you know, I mean, just that. Like, there's really nothing else really to it. You know what I mean? Which is, which is kind of heavy. They've been on sale. I saw them on sale recently. I believe they're around. 150 and I like them a lot better down there. I really do it and I think that's a great price where they should be. Now you can get the combo pack that comes with the headset in their little amp and I believe that's 199 and you can get 30 bucks off. That is a steal and if it's still active when this video is posted, I'll have a link down below. If that deal is still active, jump on that right away because that is a great deal. But again, if you see these for a basic 150 or something like that, still an awesome deal at the core MSRP, it's gotta be, you gotta be like me. This is 100% what you're looking for. Then, of course, it's gonna justify the price because it's just a fine enough for you. But guys, lately, this has been my main gaming headset. And now for the microphone test across every headphone. And I wanna keep this at the end right here so we can compile them and you can hear one after the other. I think you get a better comparison that way rather than skipping around for them, right? But anyways, as you can see, we are here in the microphone to Steel Series Arctic's Nova Pros. This is it right here. Now, it does come with the windscreen, but I leave it off because then you can't retract it all the way back in there, you know? So, again, that's a little bit of a stinker. Now, again, you can dive into the sonar software. That's what it's called and dab with your microphone. But again, guys, it's not fair because you can't take it over to your console, right? It doesn't save to the station. That's only when sonar is active. This is the core microphone. This is what it is. If, if SteelSeries or whatever wants to rave about the sonar software, they got to come out with the Arctic Nova Pro sonars. You catch my drift. And again, the Steel Series microphone is, well, a Steel Series microphone. And now you're hearing a microphone from the Odyssey Penrose right here. Really cool thing about this headset is the mute button is right on the side. Not a button, it's really a switch. It clicks up and down. I like that. So you're not really hunting on the back to find when it is muted. Uh, it does also come with the windscreen. So again, this is how it is. Does not retractable, but it is detachable, so you can remove it. And again, we have no tweak in here, guys. All of these headsets are plugged in and I'm pressing record. I'm not dabbed with any software, nothing saved to the headsets or nothing. This is straight up plugged and played. And again, you're here in the Odyssey Penrose microphone right now. And now the microphone on the VZR Model 1 right here. This microphone's really cool. If you go watch my standalone video, as you see, we got the windscreen on here. There's actually this little thumbnail or, or fingernail type thing coming off. So the windscreen's not pushed right up against the microphone. It gives it that little space so the windscreen or the pop filter can actually do what it's doing rather than going bam right there into the microphone. It lets it go through there, kind of filter out those P's and T's, and then go into the microphone. Really nice directional as well if you pull it out. It gets a lot quieter. Pull it down, it's gonna get a little quiet over there. Then when you pull it right back up, it gets nice and uh, nice and uh, full right there, you know. So really cool. Again, your microphone uh, mute switch is right on your inline controls right here. It doesn't hang too low, not too high. Bam, right there. Simple switch, and you're good to go. All in all, this is the microphone test of the VZR Model One gaming headset. And now the microphone on the Epoch H6 Pro. Again, this microphone is flip up to mute, flip down to active, and it actually goes down pretty low right here. It's not in my vision at all, but if you want it in front of your face, you can pull it over here and mold it in a little bit. Uh, again, the cool thing is how this microphone pops off, just magnetizes. You can put this cover on if you don't use it. Me personally, I usually use a uh, standalone mic sitting right there, so again, I don't have to bother with that. I really don't use a microphone much at all, but again, I, I love how you can kind of convert these into a pair of headphones and that's what I think they look like again being able to pop that microphone off easily one thing I want to point out uh, with a previous version of the A6 Pros I had I got a little uh, static a little popping in the microphone and what I found that that was since that microphone can just simply magnetize on and off the connectors connect right there and that's how it goes through I, I realized just cleaning those connectors the two prongs here and then on a the headset clean them off and you get that solid connection and you're good to go so if you got that issue do that and it'll be resolved for you but all in all this is the microphone on the Epos H6 Pros. So I hope you stuck with me through this entire video. 
because I hope it really helped you out. I tried to focus more on the sound because that's the core experience. Features and functions are per person. You know, some people can look at it as fluffy stuff. You can check those out in the standalone videos. But I hope I was able to break these down as far as that experience. Because again, that's what these all four of these headsets do is they give you just a fresh experience to make you nerd out and smile when you're playing. You ever listen to that awesome song or play that game? You just, you're in there smiling by yourself like, What's that dude doing, you know what I mean? That's what these do right here. They really bring out that experience of that game that you're playing. It is such a blast. I want to hear from you guys, though. Which one would you uh, prefer to use? Which one do you use and why? I honestly want to hear from you down in the comments, not some algorithm booster or anything. I want to talk shop with you guys. Guys, again, this is my passion, and I want to nerd out with you guys uh, talking there. Again, I love the H6 Pros. Recommend them high and low. I feel like it's that nice ground right there that does does everything right but again all of these are absolutely fantastic experiences